cooking another easy dinner tonight and one just about as cheap as we can get. I am making ramen noodle chicken stir fry. And I have already cooked the ramen noodles just so it would speed up the process a little bit. I don't use the seasoning packs because I'm making my own sauce and um, I just don't need those packs. But anyway, I'll turn it so you can see what I've done so far. Try to get you closer. I've just got some chicken breast, stir frying with some onion, and I was doing some carrots, and I was going to go ahead and have that part done too, but I thought I would just show you how I do it. I have a julienne peeler. This is from Pampered Chef, of course, and it comes in a three-piece set, and one of the three is this julienne. So I have already um, kind of peeled my carrots to get some of that outer yuckiness off from the grocery store. But y'all see how pretty that just julienne these carrots real quickly too. So I'm adding onions and carrots in so far with the chicken. I started the chicken with just a little bit of butter. I probably got enough carrots. My husband doesn't like to see a whole lot of vegetables in his food. <laughs> but I do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump those in there. It's really quick to make, and it's really, really good. So I'm just gonna stir those carrots and onions and chicken around, and then the next step will be to add in, let me tilt that up more so you can see the pan now. I've got some shredded cabbage. This is a small cabbage, but it's a lot of cabbage. But we know that when we're cooking cabbage, it cooks down and gets a lot smaller looking than it starts. Okay? So now I'm just going to let that cook down and cut my heat down to medium. And the only other thing I have to do is make the sauce for this. And when that cabbage has cooked down, I'll add the sauce to it. Sometimes I add these little baby carrots in with this stir fry, especially if I'm doing like a chicken teriyaki stir fry. I normally do, but tonight I'm just not feeling it. So I'm not gonna add those in. So we're gonna make our sauce while that cabbage is cooking down. And the sauce will be one fourth cup of soy sauce. And I use low sodium soy sauce. You don't have to, but I do. I'm trying to tilt this so y'all can see that good. Then we need sesame oil. So I'm gonna put in one half teaspoon of sesame oil. Okay. That's good. The other ingredient is one tablespoon of honey and if you watch me often you know i love these measure all cups for sticky or solid ingredients i was able to squirt or pour my honey right in there and then you just pop it out you don't have anything that sticks to the side of a measuring cup when you use this it just cleans off the sides and you don't waste any this end is for the solid and dry this end is for your liquid so it's like two measuring cups in one the other thing I add is just a little bit of sriracha, not a whole lot. I'm going to add, let me use this for that too, maybe about a half a tablespoon. If you like it hot, you can add more than that. So now again, I've got all my sauce without wasting any. All right. I'm just going to whisk this together. Now normally when you're doing this, if you want to do it in one pot, you can put your, um, after your cabbage cooks down, you can put your ramen noodles in here with your liquid and put the lid on it and let those noodles cook. But for the sake of video time, I went ahead and put mine in the micro cooker in the microwave. So they are already done. Cabbage is not cooking down as fast as I thought it was going to. But that's a lot of cabbage, y'all. <laughs> now I did um, drain. I just covered these noodles. Let me show you these. With water. 
and the micro cookers has these little strain holes on them, which is wonderful. I could go right over to the sink and strain them, but I did reserve, when I strained it, I put the juice that was in there, a cup of it, just in case I need it to thicken up my sauce. Or to add to my sauce, but you know, pasta water is always good to reserve. So if you need to add water, you're kind of adding flavored water, if that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit and I will just pause this video. I know y'all don't want to sit here and watch me do all this. So I will pause this and get this cooked down good and then I'll come back on and we'll finish this up. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, that cabbage cooked down pretty quick and I mean it cooks down. Remember how much I had? Look at that now. <laughs> Doesn't it look so good? I don't know if you've ever made egg roll in a bowl, but this is kind of like the base for that. And there's just so many different things you can do with a recipe with just this face. Um, I did add some pepper. I did not add any salt because of the sodium that's already in that soy sauce, even though I got low sodium. I'd rather under salt than over salt. So again, this is ramen noodle. Now these are 29 cent a pack at my grocery store and I got two packs. So this is a very budget friendly meal for sure. So, so far I've got the chicken and onion and carrots and cabbage stir fried together and uh, I put some pepper on it. So now the sauce that I mixed up in the first part of the video, I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. That is honey, soy sauce, sriracha, uh, and sesame oil. I had to think what else was in there. Okay. And this is where I reserved a little bit of the pasta water in case I need it. But it's really giving me a nice sauce. I don't think I'm going to need to add more, but once we add the noodles, we'll see. So the only other thing we have to do is to add our noodles. Let's go ahead and add those in. And give them a stir. I don't break my ramen noodles up when I'm cooking them. I just kind of let them cook in that square shape that they come in. And then... I just kind of toss them around to break them up a little bit, but they are done. And this makes such a delicious meal. You could use, um, sometimes I do wide egg noodles instead of the ramen noodles, but I'm trying to do budget friendly meals to show you some inexpensive ways. Of course, egg noodles aren't that expensive either, but these little ramen noodles are pretty tasty. But again, I did not add the seasoning pack to mine. You definitely can if you want to, but I did not. Doesn't that look good, y'all? Got all our veggies and some protein with that chicken. And it sure smells good. Okay. So we are done. The only other thing that I will do is I'll let that sit and get all combined with the flavor. And I'm going to top it with some sesame seeds. And then again, that's a, an option you can or you don't have to do either one. And I'll go ahead and add some because we like them. It sure smells good. It's just like, I feel like I'm getting Chinese takeout at home. So I've just got sesame seeds and I'm going to sprinkle them over the top and I still have some water if I need it but so far I don't think I'm going to need to add any of that water I'll get y'all a closer look so really by the time I cut that camera off earlier I put the lid on the pan and let that um, cabbage it, it cooked down in a couple minutes so it's a very very easy meal to make and it is very delicious so I will share the recipe with you in comments and I hope you'll try this at home 
at your home because it's just so easy to do and even your picky eaters should like this. So thank you so much for watching and y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.